All right. Good morning, everyone. I want to uh, draw your attention to to a couple of different things. Um, first off, um, there's two places you're going to find your assignments. And I think you're aware of this by now. Um, obviously, on your Google Classroom. So Google Classroom, let's say you're uh, a seventh grader and you click on 7M Science. You're in, that's your homeroom. And I, I open this up and then this is my stream, right? So this shows me all the different assignments that's been going on since the beginning of the school year. So the one that's down here is the oldest and you can see then it goes up in terms of dates. So if you're missing an assignment, uh, if you go on TeacherEase, I tried to update uh, grades last night, you're gonna see that you're missing maybe a few assignments. And it may be that you did the assignment, but you forgot to submit it or turn it in or mark it done, and that's all done electronically. So um, this is where you would find those assignments. I just wanna show you that. Um, it also, so there's your stream. Uh, if I go up to the, the classwork, it breaks it down in terms of category. So we've had some assignments on lab safety and equipment and some videos and uh, introductions, how to use Flipgrid, and then the scientific method. So you're going to also find them there, okay? Um, but if you want to see them in terms of um, sequentially, in terms of when they are assigned, I would look at this. I would look at this and go from the bottom up. Um, then, um, I don't want to go into this. I can't show you the grades of other people, but <clears throat> it'll list sometimes that things are missing. And the reason mm -hmm. it's missing is oftentimes it's not that you didn't do it. It's just when you did the practice, mm -hmm. you didn't uh, click turn in. So so let me let me show you what that would look like. Oh, sorry, before I go on, there's another place to find your homework. If you go into weekly lesson plans, and that was created by Mr. Burns, and this is on the uh, school website, you'll see all of the different teachers. And so if you go on to mine, I will post these each morning and tell you kind of what's going on. So I know it's kind of hard to see. Let me blow this up a little bit. Um, so you've got uh, my office hours, of course, but also this lists what we did on, on Monday for the three classes, and then also um, what we did uh, yesterday. So this is another great place to do it. Now I try to, just so you see this, I try to make it that you could go on here and there's the actual assignment. So if you're uh, a sixth grader yesterday, um, you're supposed to go into here and this shows you the assignment that was that you're supposed to complete. Okay, so that's how you would go down to here. Like we said, you highlight, you read, you watch the videos um, and then you you come down and do the practice. And like I said, after you do the practice, once again, you have to do, you have to get 10 correct. And then you can continue practicing or you say, okay, I'm done. I got 10 correct. Um, and it adjusts. So if you're getting them wrong, uh, you can, um, it'll make them a little bit easier. And there's also little, little buttons you can hit for help or for hints. To, uh, so that, that you can get all get 10 of them right. Um, and then after you get 10 right, you will hit a red turn in button kind of up here by the assign button. So um, that's, and, and then, sorry, after you would complete that practice, you've got to go back into um, your Google Classroom and you will mark it done, if that makes any sense. So then you'll go back into where it was posted and mark it done. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go back to here. So this is one place you can find the assignment and then the other place, like I told you, will be um, through Google Classroom. Um, now, uh, let me find this here. So I go back to this and here is today's assignment for 
Um, I posted it yesterday, but it's due tonight. So it's, it's really realistically due uh, midnight tonight, which would be tomorrow. But if I click on this, then I go, this show, this is the teacher's view, who's assigned it, who's turned it in. But if I go to instructions, this is the actual assignment. And this is why it, it tells you read, highlight, practice. That means the 10 right, turn it in and mark it done. So today, this is what the sixth and seventh graders will be doing. And you're going to go through this. And I'll maybe make a short little video explaining um, this little unit. So we'll go through this. And then on your own time, uh, I'll have you guys watch these videos. So you go through this, read, highlight, watch the videos, and then you're going to do the practice and then submit it. So that way, after you submit it, then you go back to classroom and submit it. Uh, hopefully this isn't too confusing. Um, if it is, um, maybe you can reach out to me during uh, the times that are listed. So for seventh grade, um, it's from 250, sorry, 145 to one, sorry, 145 to 215. Eighth grade is 215 to 245 and sixth grade is 245 to 315. Um, you can simply even send me an email and ask me uh, if we can talk or somehow do a video chat so I can walk you through the process. Because there's a few of you, um, more so the sixth graders, who are getting this. They're doing the work, but it's not being submitted. So it looks like you haven't been doing it, but I know you have. So it's just a matter of, of a couple little buttons to, to click. All right. I, I hope this is helping. Um, please reach out if you have any questions or concerns, okay? Uh, thank you. Oh, and uh, oh, here's the thing. Now, do me a favor, play this 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 uh, video because we started. It was yesterday. It was September first. Um, one of my favorite songs. One of my favorite groups. Enjoy. Click on that. Click on that. There you go.